Kangaroo serves some of the best Cajun cuisine Indy has to offer. But early Friday morning, owner Art Bouvier was serving ice melt to his frozen parking lot when a young man walked up asking how far to 10th and Sherman. I'm thinking, we're at 10th and Post. I said, well, yeah, that's, that's six, probably six, seven miles. So you'd be better off on a bus, especially in this weather. And he just said, okay, thank you. And he kept going. 15 minutes later, Art was driving when in the freezing temperatures, there he was, still walking. And I called to him. I said, buddy, you really do need to be on a bus to go down to 10th and Sherman today. I said, he says, well, I don't have any money for the bus. I said, well, come on, we're headed that way. His name was Jaquiel. He was unemployed, lost his mom two years ago, and had to take care of his two siblings. He was on his way to a minimum wage job interview at a thrift store, a 10-mile walk in the snow and ice. You hear too many stories about people that want work, but it's got to be the right work. It's got to be glamorous work. It's got to be high-paying work, holding up for the management job. Um, and then, you know, here's a kid that knows there's work available, and, it, and it's hard to get, and it's hard to do, but he'll do it. Um, hang on a second. Art got Jaquiel's phone number, and unknown to Jaquiel, was planning to do this. I don't think I can afford to pass you up, man. Well, I mean, I, I can I can sure use it, sir. A job much closer. Could he start tonight? He told me about it. I was like, I was just so surprised. I was, I was an awestruck. Two men okay. now bonded. One who took the road less traveled. The other who's offering to make it easier. Thank you very much. Very well. Appreciate it. No, I, I appreciate the uh, charging through the snow. To first showed you this Facebook post on Friday from the owner of Papa Roo on Indy's east side. He explained that he found a man walking across the city following an ice storm simply for a job interview. Well, now you can see that post has more than 50, almost 15,000 likes, comments from people across the country. And now these people are hoping this story will compel others to do the same. This week, 18-year-old Jaquiel Reagan has a new job and a new outlook on life. It's going to help me put a roof over the head. I mean, I, it's just going to help me tremendously. It's been nothing but an outpouring of support for Jaquiel, heartfelt responses, uh, well wishes, and uh, it's, it's changed lives. Last week, Jaquiel was willing to walk as far as it took to find a job. Turns out he won't have to walk much longer. I want us to give you these. You have a year's worth of bus passes. Today he was in for a surprise. For the hard work that I see you're trying to do. You're welcome. Paula Haskin heard about Jaquiel and says she had to help this young man. You don't see that type of determination in young people. You just really don't. And to see that, I just felt compelled. But the fortune doesn't stop there. Jaquiel hopes to continue the trend. I, I love that uh, quote, pay it forward. Um, Art said that to me the first day I met him. And, and I'm going to stick by that and pay it forward. Maybe it'll bring a little bit more of a focus on what people have to offer and not just, you know, what they look like or what what thing you have to do in the next five minutes. A positive outlook on life, perhaps a good reminder from a determined young man. Don't give up and, you know, go out there and try. I mean, it's really all, it's really all it's about is just trying, you know. Yeah. That's all you can do. And this story really has gone viral since we last ran it on Friday. Art says he has received calls from Seattle, from Pennsylvania. He says right now he's focusing on getting Jaquiel an apartment of his own. Right now he stays with friends. In fact, another Paparoo customer is going to give Jaquiel a Sprint phone tomorrow. He says he's just hoping others will see this story and will also use it as a cause to pay it forward.